Good evening. Good evening. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, sir. Okay, welcome, welcome. It's a pleasure to see you again. We are ready to start now, but we need to wait a little bit. Where is there so the rest of the class name can connect? So, okay, welcome, Janet, Gabriela, Jonathan, Don Jose. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Roxana. 
Welcome to all of you. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Night, teacher. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. How do you feel today? I, I am. Sir? I am very tired. A little tired? Yes. Okay, welcome. Uh, then I got a going to do a Okay. Let us come now, then we are ready. Let me see how many people we are coming. Let's go. Well, I'm still waiting for the rest. And, and the question is, what do, you, uh, what do you know about tomorrow? Are we going to have the day off or not? Si saben dónde quieren que la gente aplica para nosotros o no. Teacher, no sé si soy ruso yo, pero yo le escucho bastante, bastante suave la voz. Igual, igual, yo también, teacher. No se entiende. escucha lejos, teacher, lejos, lejos. Uh, 
about now. Y ahora. Igual. Yo creo que lo mismo, dice. Hola, hola, hola. Hoy sí. Uno, dos. Very well. Hoy sí, teacher. Yes, better. Amplificando sonido. Ok, sí me gusta que me, me, me alerten porque desde acá eh, los iconos me indican que sí funciona, pero no funciona a veces. So, thank you very much. We are ready to start now. Just waiting for some of your classmates. Bueno, preguntaba eh, con relación al día de mañana. ¿Qué sabemos del día de mañana? Al menos en mi caso no tengo ninguna información general de la empresa. Ahí ha suelto, teacher. Pero sí, eh, pues se supone que sí debemos entrar en eso, ¿no? En el WhatsApp escribieron, en el, teacher. En el grupo en mandaron. Dijeron de que estaban suspendidas para el día de mañana. Ok, perfect, perfect. I've been pretty busy. Uh, I didn't have time to check it. Déjeme ver. Ok, let me see here. No sé el portugués. No, eso no es. ¿Dónde está? Ahí está. Ok, ahí está. Inglés cooperativo comunica a toda nuestra comunidad estudiantil. Y público en general que el día 7 de julio pausamos las clases y actividades administrativas de la Retornando a la actividad académica y atención al público en general en las oficinas del 8 de julio. Ok, perfecto. Ok, 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 ok. No he dicho nada. He estado en una actividad muy larga este día. Be careful with the dog, ladies and gentlemen. My goodness, I'm going to... Okay. Okay, let me see how many people do we have now. Oh, wow, wow, wow. This is only one more. Bueno, no sé, hoy tenemos menos. Okay, let us see how many, okay, uh, well, we are going to start talking about 
the same topic that we had yesterday. Let me share with you. <clears throat> okay, this is section nine. We are going to talking about how, how to use uh, had to and need to. We are going to practice. Okay, uh, let me see. We already talked about the name of the unit, the general objective. Also, the specific. But take a look at this participant will be able to express necessities and obligations. That means that all of you uh, need to practice in order to get these skills. And you are going to be able to use have to and need to. So we are going to start with this. Do what the instructions say, not what you uh, do your best. Okay, that means that I'm going to tell you something. Okay, let me stop here. But in order to do this, I need that all of you turn on your cameras, please. Para hacer esta actividad necesito que todos tengan sus cámaras encendidas para poderles ver las instrucciones que yo voy a dar. Hello. Okay, you... teacher. Okay, teacher. Bueno, esperemos a los demás porque ellos. I don't know what what is happening there. Por ahí van apareciendo despacio, despacio. Tengan paciencia, por favor. Only seven with cameras, eight. What about the rest? Bueno, Mauricio Rojas. Only eight. I mean, um, less than the, the half. Seven. Ten. Okay, uh, this is going to be like uh, have you played Simon Says? ¿Han jugado Simon Dice? Yes, teacher. Solo uno. ¿Y los demás no dicen nada? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Okay, 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 okay. Yes. Okay, perfect. Bueno, todavía nos faltan... Algunos, bueno, ahí tenemos dos que tres que no podrán encender cámara por diferentes razones. Okay, let, let us see what you can do. I need to wake you up. Because you feel a little tired today. So, what you are going to do is... Ay, apareció Roxana también, ya está, ya está con nosotros Roxana. Y ustedes dijeron de que no, 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 ella no está, sí, ahí está. Ok, the instruction said, do what the instruction said. Bueno, en este caso vamos a hacer una variante de Simón dice. Vamos a decir Max dice. Because my name is not Simon. Ok. Let us see what you can do. 
Okay. Touch your right shoulder. Vamos a ver. Touch your right shoulder. With your, with your left hand. Touch your right shoulder. Okay, tenemos Edwin. Eh, ¿Quién más lo está haciendo? Only the right, the right shoulder. No bosses then. Only the right one. With the left hand. Yeah, yeah, you got the left hand. What about the rest? Okay, Cecilia is doing well. What about you, Anaïris? What about you, Blanca? Eh, bueno, ahí tenemos a quién, a Candy. I say with the left, with the left hand. Giselle, esa es su left hand. <laughs> okay, that's it. Ah, okay, let me see. Um, let me see. Put your right hand on the top of your head. Put your right hand at the top of your head. Ah, okay. Veamos. Tengo una que es izquierda y esa es para ir a la derecha. Ah, oh my God. It's... Revisen su mano. ¿Cuál es the right hand? Blanca. ¿Qué mano tiene Blanca? Right or left? <laughs> okay, that's it. Uh, let me see. Touch your nose. Touch your nose. Okay, nice. Say goodbye with your hand. Ah, okay, perfect. Nice. What else? Let me see what else you can do. Okay. Be careful with your microphone, the one that uh, has a handset. Okay, stand up and sit down again. Go ahead. Stand and, and sit down. Algunos no se mueven, no se mueven. Okay. I check it from here. Only the one that did what I said. Tengo unos que no se movieron. Ya entraron en pacto con el, la CIA. Y dijeron, no, aquí estoy cómodo. Okay, thank you. Let us continue then. Okay. Well, this part is going to be difficult for all of you, so. <clears throat> In this concept, where as a classmate, listen to the explanation, give an example. Do your best. Okay. Yesterday, we talked about the use of two different expressions of word. What do you remember about? ¿Qué recuerdan de lo que vimos ayer? We talk about how to use have to and need to. ¿Ok? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ok, perfect. Bosses then are going to be used to express obligation. So, what I need is that you give me an example using have to and need to. Okay, who want to start? 
Veamos quién quiere iniciar. I'm going to stop in order to see your faces. You have to clean the house. Okay. What about need? Teacher, I need Oops. to do my homework. You need to do your homework or you and, have to do your homework. Okay. And um, I don't have to call for help. You don't have to call for help. Okay. Thank you, Jonathan. Okay, so Maria, I, what about the rest? Me teacher. me, teacher. Okay, Gabriela, Gabriela. I have to do my exercise. Your exercises? And I need to drink my coffee. You need to drink coffee. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Uh, Edwin? I need to win an extra an extra bonus in my salary you need to but win. i yes i have i have hard work i had to wear her i had to wear her work hard work hard i had to wear her that means that what you are uh, expressing is that you need to increase your income yes Okay, you need to write a rise in your salary. With, with, a, with an extra bonus for um, Meta. Okay, your walls. Yes. Okay, excellent. Good vision. Somebody else wants to continue. Vamos, 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 vamos. Hello, hey. Karina. Hello, Karina. Are you there, Karina? Yes, teacher, I'm here. Hello. Hello. Um, I have to buy food. You are, okay. Need to drink water. You need to drink water. Okay, nice. Thank you. Somebody else. Okay, thank you, Cecilia Maribel. I saw your hand. You say, I want to participate. Okay, do it. Cecilia. No se le oye, no se le oye. No se le oye, Cecilia. No. Check your microphone, check your microphone, please. Okay, Ingrid is going to give you a hand. Pueden repetir. You are going to continue. Give us two examples, please. Y no le entiendo. Que, que nos dé los dos ejemplos que estamos pidiendo. Uno con have to y el otro con need to. I need to... More day off. What about Karina? Are you there, Karina? Could you give us an uh, example, please? Um, another example is I have to go to work okay. and I need to play soccer okay you need to play soccer because you feel relaxed yes okay thank you um blanca tovar is here gisela is here too francisco yes right here teacher okay tell us give us your example please okay i have paid my bills and i need Relaxing my sofa. <laughs> okay, you need to, you need to. I need to relax my sofa because I, I need to watch TV. Okay, don't worry about. It. 
Okay, let us uh, let us continue then. We are going to remember what we started yesterday and today we are going to practice. Let us continue talking about half, half two. Okay, I need that somebody else read this concept. Necesito que alguien me lea el concepto, por favor. We use a teacher. <laughs> Go ahead, sir. I, uh, yes. We use have to express obligation when something is necessary in the present or future. 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 Yeah, future. Okay, de nuevo este concepto. We use have to to express obligation when something is necessary in the present or in the future. Okay. ¿Quién lee el número uno? Who wants to read example number one? Uh, Giselle. The boys have to study hard. Ah, okay. And what about the next one? The boy has to wake up at seven o'clock in the morning. Okay. And somebody else? Necesito un tercero que me explique la diferencia entre the first one and the second one, please. It's it's thirty person teacher. Okay. Giselle. For example, uh, they have two and has two. Uh -huh. is different because um, the boys have to study hard. For example, in Ethiopia. Okay. Pero abajo es como has to. Es diferente. Why? Es diferente. Plural and singular, teacher. Ah, okay. Yes. Thank you. That is the key word, plural and singular. Okay, perfect. So I, I am going to give you uh, two minutes or three minutes in order that you create your own sentences using plural and singular. So try to do it now, please. And then we are going to share it with the class.
Spanish teacher. Okay. What about the rest of the class? Okay, let us wait a little bit in order to start chatting your sentences. Bueno, le vamos a dar un poco más de tiempo. Okay, did you finish? Yes. Only Gabi, only Gabi finished. What about Karina? I guess I she finished too. And in the race, I can see your faces then. Finish, teacher. Okay. Finish. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> Okay, if you want, we can start sharing the information. Who wants to be the first one? Quien quiere ser el primero? Okay, Gabi. The people have to enter into the house because it's raining outside. Okay, because it is raining uh, cat and dogs outside. Okay. The and the other, excuse me? The other, the other, the girl has to buy a new bed. Okay. Thank you. Next. Next, please. Uh, hi, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Emma, Emma has to write a letter. Uh, okay, Emma has to write a letter. Uh, and the other is the children how to play soccer. Okay, the children have to play soccer. Mm. It's correct? It's, okay, nice.
Okay, somebody else? Teacher, se les puedo leer? Yes. I have two brothers. She has a lot of work. Uh -huh. La oración está correcta. Pero. In this oh, yeah. case, Thank you. what we are doing is that we are using have to to show obligation. La oración está correcta. Pero en este caso, el have to lo estamos usando para demostrar obligación. Entonces, habría que darle un giro a la oración. ¿Cómo podría ser? Tell me. Hello. Hello, hello. Hola, hola. Sí, se escucha, Ticha. Ah, oh, ok. Se escucha. Me... Pero la compañera no respondió. That is uh, the issue that we have. Ok, what, I, so, uh, what uh, I was telling you is that the sentence that you tell us is right, bad. What we need to show in this case is obligation. Aquí el have to lo necesitamos para demostrar obligación. No lo vamos a utilizar como un verbo simple donde diga yo tengo, tú tienes. No. Tiene que ir algo más. For example, if I tell you, you have to arrive on time on your job is an obligation. Es una, es una obligación que tú tienes que estar temprano en tu trabajo. ¿Se comprende? Yes. Yes. Ok, Jonathan. Teacher, I have, I have to wear a uniform in my workplace. Okay. And, and Maria has to wear a uniform. Two. Yes. I have to wear a Okay. It's a, mask. it's a mask. It's a mask. If you don't, if you don't like your uniform, doesn't matter, but you need to, use it to wear it. Si a usted no le gusta, pues eso no cuenta, porque usted tiene que usarlo, es una obligación. Okay, somebody said, teacher, teacher, I'm here, I'm here. Eh, ya la corregí. Sí, I, have, I have to get up early tomorrow. Okay, perfect, nice. The second one? No hay una segunda, no? Okay, Ingrid. I have to cook meal prep for the weekend. Okay, you, you have to cook your meal. Okay. Next. She has to clean her room. She has to clean her room. Okay. Next one. But don't forget, I ask you to create two 
two sentences, one in plural and one in singular. So, Podría este ser, had you ever dreamed of starting a new business? And the company has a lot of, no, a lot of the world of marketing of the new product to the best marketing team. Mm, and where is the obligation there? Um, la, I pregunta, have... la primera pregunta que usted hace dice have you ever uh -huh. a usted alguna vez said, I have to remember to stop at the store you have to remember to pay all your bills on time on time yes ah ok eso es una obligación que usted tiene Pagar todos sus recibos a tiempo, de lo contrario. Eh, cortan el cable. You need to pay more. Mm -hmm. Ok, thank you. Somebody else. ¿Quién más? Vamos, vamos. Wake up, wake up, wake up. We all need to drink water as they're playing softball. Okay, slow down, slow down. Repeat the first one first. We all need to drink water after playing in softball. Okay, hold on, hold on a second. You are using need. We need to drink a lot of water after playing softball. Yes. Okay, you are uh, okay. You are using need. What about have? Have to. Okay. Somebody else? Can must. Hola, hola. Hola. Teacher, I have to visit my mom. My son has a soccer game tomorrow. Mm. My son has to play. My son has to play, to play soccer. soccer with his team tomorrow. Okay. My son has, has to play play. soccer. Okay. With his team tomorrow. With tomorrow. Sí. Okay. Él, 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 él está obligado a jugar con su equipo el día de mañana. No los puede dejar solos. <laughs> ya no, sí, ya no es que solo va a jugar cuando él quiera. Sí, así es. Yeah, belong to the team. Yes, yes. Okay, okay, thank you. Karina. I'm sorry, Karina. Uh, I have to wash my clothes and my sister has to study. Okay. Okay. Somebody else? Can must? Come on, you can do it. Next, please. Teacher. Los. I have to get to war early. I? I have to get to war early. I got, I got your point, but it's better if you say, I have to go to my job early. Ah, okay. Y the, the other sentence is my brother has to clean the kitchen. Has, has. 
My brother has to yes. clean the kitchen. Okay, has to clean the kitchen. Okay, thank you. Somebody else, Kim Mas. Okay, somebody else? In mass? I have other sentence teacher. Okay, tell us. We have to use hand sanitizer, sanitizer. Mm, uh, pronunciation. What is the pronunciation, teacher? The last word? Sanitizer, sanitizante? Sanitizer, sanitizer. Sanitizer, okay. We have to use hand sanitizer in the other he has to buy a new copy book for his English class. Okay. For his for his English class. Okay, perfect, Gaby. You are doing well. Bueno, hoy todas las Gaby están haciendo cosas buenas. La Gaby de la Federación de Karate ganó oro para El Salvador. Eso está bien. Okay, Tisha, good evening. Hoy estaré solo oyente ya que... Okay, okay, I got it. Okay, thank you, Gaby. Uh, somebody else? Quien más? And I think that teacher, um, we have a state in the pool signs at nine o'clock and my father has just going to bed. Okay. Okay, don't forget that the moment that you're going to use have to, uh, it has to show obligation. Tiene que referirse a mostrarnos algo de obligación. Okay, let us switch a little bit. Vamos a cambiar un poco porque I see that you... Okay, hold on a second, please. Okay, hold on a little bit. Now I can do it. Okay, take a look at this uh, structure, please. When we talk about affirmative sentences, we are going to use this structure. The subject has to or has to plus the verb plus the complement. And also, we are going to classify the personal pronoun in two groups. The first one, 
that is going to be I, you, we, and they. And the second one, we are going to use he, uh, she, he, and it. And we have an example there. You had to arrive on time to class. And the second example that we have said, she has to brush her teeth every day. Okay, take a look at the structure, please. If you want, you can write down some example related with this. Any questions so far from here? Hello? Are you there? Yes? No, 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 teacher. No. I don't have question, teacher. Okay, Gabby. No question, Gabby? No, teacher, I don't ah. have question. Ah, okay. I misunderstood what you said. Malentendí lo que usted mencionó. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, take a look at this baby. And we are going to talk about negative sentences using this. We use don't have to to express absence of obligation when something is not necessary to do. Okay, try to uh, try to get this information in your brain, please. We use don't have to to express absence of obligation. That is equal to say that when something is not necessary to do. Okay, let us see some example related with this. And we have the picture. The children don't have to go to school tomorrow because it's a day off. No la estoy leyendo como está ahí, la adapté a lo que sucede en nuestro entorno. But the, the one that we have here said the children don't have to go to school today. It's Saturday. Okay, uh, let us create your own sentences using don't have to. Y en el caso que fuese tercera persona, ¿cómo sería? Doesn't have to. Okay. The girl doesn't have to. Okay. Créeme una oración así usando he or she, por favor. He, da he doesn't has to go to to gym be because the Sunday is because it's Sunday. Okay. E and Sunday is close, close, close. Okay, so Mario. Me teacher. He doesn't have to go to the to play tennis. Okay. Somebody else, please. He doesn't. He he doesn't have to drive. 
Okay. She doesn't have students at the school. Nice. What else? Can mass. Teacher, podría ser, she doesn't have to work on Sunday. Yes, but don't forget that the moment that you use the verb have with their singular person, you need to switch to has. Has. Okay. Teacher. She she doesn't have to come. She doesn't. She doesn't have to come. To come here to the office, okay. Teacher, she doesn't have to go to the beach. Okay. She doesn't have to work tomorrow. Okay, she doesn't have to work. Okay, nice. Okay, let me see what else do we have here. For example, uh, let us see. She doesn't, uh, don't forget that right here, we can, we can use two auxiliary. If we use doesn't or does, the verb here is not going to switch. No va a tener ningún cambio el verbo. Si uso, eh, porque ya tengo una auxiliar acá. Al menos que usted dice, she has to. Ahí sí. But in negative, if you are going to use does or don't, the main verb is not going to switch. El verbo no va a cambiar. So, en el negativo, teacher, cuando usamos para oraciones negativas, entonces no vamos a cambiar el have to cuando sea tercera persona. No, porque ya tengo un auxiliar antes. Y no, okay. no puedo tener dos inflection at the same time. Ok. Eso grábeselo, por favor. Okay, let us see the structure for this. Okay, take a look at this one, please. There is the, the, the structure. Subject plus don't have to or doesn't have to, plus verb plus complement. I, you, we, they, don't. We don't have to get up early on Sunday. She, she, and it doesn't. He doesn't have to get up early on Sunday. So take note if you want, because in that way you are going to create your own sentences. You have the structure there. Ahí está la estructura. Any question? Not teacher. Okay. Okay, let us continue then. What about in question, do or does? Then the subject, then the have to and the complement. Okay, take a look at this. 
I, you, we, they, we are going to have two. He, she, and it is going to use have to. Do I, do you, do we, do they have to? What about here? Doesn't he have to? The same happened here. Lo mismo sucede acá. I already got a, an auxiliary, so uh, the, the main verb is not going to, to change anything. Por lo tanto, el verbo no va a cambiar nada. Write the structure if you want. Okay, you have it there. Question? No question? No question, teacher. No question. Okay. No, no teacher, no question. Okay, let us continue then. Okay. And the answer is going to be yes, I do, or no, I don't. Yes, she does, or no, she doesn't. This is the answer of the question. For example, uh, if I got the phone and said, do you have to eat the vegetable? Yes, I do. No, I don't. An example could be like this. Does she have to eat the baseball? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Okay, based on this example, I need that you create two sentences. Dígame, Gabriela. Pero las preguntas tampoco cambian el have to, teacher, en no. la tercera persona. No, porque ya tenemos el mismo auxiliar acá. Okay. Entonces, cuando ya hay un auxiliar, no hay cambios. Anótelo, anótelo. Ok, teacher. And start uh, creating your own uh, example, please. Okay, do it, do it, do it, please.
Okay, tell me if you already finished, please. Teacher. Hello? Do you have to wash your car? Oh, okay, do you have to wash your car? Does he have to read a book? Does she have to read a book? Uh, Edwin? Uh, do you have to make the dinner? Okay. And does she have to draw a horse? Does she have to draw a horse? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is correct? Yes. Okay. Okay, somebody else. Can mass. Me teacher. Okay, do it. Do you have to wake up early tomorrow? Oh, okay. And the other, does he have to go to supermarket? Okay, what else? What about the rest of the class? Somebody else, Karina. Teacher. Hello? Um, I have two. And the first is, do you have to clean your room? And does she have to wash the dishes? Okay. Teacher, do you have to take the medicine? Does my mom have to go to the bank? Okay. Does she need to go to the supermarket? Does he have to wash the car? Okay. Um, well, let me see the time that we have now. Okay, let me continue. Okay, I'm going to start talking about need to and don't need to. So pay attention about this. Let us talk about this. Okay, ne need, uh, when we talk about need, we are talking about necessary or essential. Who wants to read the example? Quien lee los ejemplos? Yeah. 
the one that I have here. Okay, Gabriel. Need. Necessary or essential. 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 For example, I need to eat some food. I need to drink some water. And I need to do my homework. Okay, thank you. The first one said, I need to eat, I need to drink, I need to do my homework. At the same time, that is an obligation, is a need. Why? Tell me. I need to work. Or you have to work. What are those? Será. Será. That we need to work and we have to work. Both of them are correct. Okay. I need to sleep, teacher. I need to? Sleep. Dormir. I need to sleep. Yes, sleep. So I need to sleep. A hour. Okay, it's a need, it's a need. Okay, what else? Que mas? I need to drink some water. You need to sit, drink some water, okay. I need to brush my teeth. You need to wash your teeth. Okay, somebody else? Let us see what else we have here. Ah, okay, right here we need to be careful. Let us talk about affirmative sentences. I, you, we, and they are going to use need to. He, she, and it uh, uh, is going to use need with this. We need to brush our teeth three times a day. And the last one said she needs to brush her teeth three times a day. Can you notice the difference? Puede ver la diferencia del porqué? Yes, um, the same, uh, the third person oh. and adds letter S. Yes, add letter S. Okay, uh, let us start practicing uh, creating sentences using uh, I, you, we, and they, and one with he, she, or it. And then we are going to share it. I'm uh, going to give you some minutes in order that you do it. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing. Okay, write it down. Right now, please.
Okay, another thing that we can do is that I can activate uh, the whiteboard and you can write down your sentences right here. Let us try to do it. Veamos quienes pueden escribir sus oraciones en la pizarra que voy a compartir. Okay, hold on a second. Let me wait a little bit. Okay, um, let us use this one. Okay, let us see if you can write it down. Something there? Okay, try to do it, please. Okay, we have some sentences, so please take a look at that. We are going to learn uh, in this process. Solo tengo dos, no sé qué sucede con los demás. Solo veo que se mueven, eh, pero no, no veo la escritura. Teacher, I can write. You can write on the ball? Yes, I can. I try, but I can't. Uh, maybe you are connected from uh, a cell phone. Yes, I'm on cell phone. Okay. Me too, teacher. My cell phone. Okay. 
screen. I can write, teacher. Okay, don't worry, let yeah. the one that we have in the board. For example, uh, somebody wrote, I need to talk to the doctor. We need to erase the writing on the board. Uh, somebody else wrote, we need to rest a lot. He needs to sleep eight hours a day. Okay. But what about this one? Take, take a look at this. I need to some money. You need to drive for work. She needs to two new shoes. Something is missing here. Hola, hola. Okay. Uh, I, I write. I write my sentences, teacher. Okay. Uh, what you need is to add a verb. Necesito que agreguemos otro verbo justamente después de la partícula to. Por ejemplo, con el dinero, I need to get some money. I need to get. I need to get some money. And the next one yeah. is right. you need to drive to work. Okay, acordémonos que después del to vamos a usar otro verbo. Is correct my sentences, teacher? This one? Is correct my sentences. Yeah, the one that I read, I need to get some money. That is true. No, no. I need to use my raincoat because it's raining. Ah, they need to. Uh, okay, hold on a second. Let me see where it is. I don't see it here. I need to rest. They need to eat right now. I don't see it here. I need to. Okay, hold on, uh, right here. ¿Quién está escribiendo esto? ¿Quién es? I need to swim in. No, I need to swim. To swim. I need to swim. Ah, Lisette escribe esta otra. And Mauricio is trying to write down something. And hold on a second. Let me see somebody. Oh, is there? What about you, Mister? Uh, you don't. Uh, you are not able to write down your sentences in the board. Hello, teacher. In my sentences, is correct. Which one are yours? Uh, I need to tell. To the doctor. Ah, you need to talk to the doctor. You need to you need to see the doctor. Okay, mm -hmm. you need to see we, the doctor. Okay. We need to erase the writing of the board. I said here pizarra, but me cuesta porque en my cell phone writing. Okay. Y, y realmente ahí será más need o será to we uh, or have we have to erase the writing on the board. Mm -hmm. Ahí hay que pensar. Mm -hmm. Ok. Teacher. Hello? I have a question. Uh, 
para decir, digamos, mi gato sería, o mi perrito, my dog need to go to, for mm, example, to the, to the bath. O sería, it, it needs. No, you, can, to... you, you can mention the name uh, the the name dog the dog the dog sería lo mismo, ¿verdad? yeah in this case it's gonna be better if you say uh, the dog needs to go out okay yeah the the dog needs to go out to make poo for example okay Okay, let us finish this activity because it was difficult for some of you to write down some sentences. Okay, going back again, talking about this topic. Take a look. Take a look, please. This is the negative sentences. So we have some example. Are you, we, and they don't need to. And uh, in the third singular person, he, she, and it is going to use that and need is going to not switch right here. Remember the moment that we are going to use an auxiliary, we are not going to uh, add S or ES to any verb. In negative, because we already have the auxiliary here, we don't need to eat junk food all the time. And the another example said, she doesn't need to eat junk food all the time. Take a look at the example, please. And in other words, if we are going to use an auxiliary, the verb is not going to add anything. In otras palabras, cuando usemos el negativo don o das, el verbo no va a agregar ni S ni ES. Ok, créeme algunos ejemplos, por favor. Menos de lo
Okay, ready? I ready, teacher. Okay. Um, okay, let us do it now. Let me stop sharing. Okay, who wants to start? Do it, do it, do it, please. Me, teacher? Yes, if you want, you can start. Okay. Um, you don't need to call me, sir. And I don't need to call for ambulance. I don't need to call an ambulance. Ambulance. An ambulance. Okay. okay. Um, It looks like it's going to start raining here. So I hope the power can keep. Bueno, acaba de iniciar la lluvia por este sector. Esperemos que la energía se mantenga. We are so close to finish, but we need to be careful about. Okay, somebody else wants to talk about this. Me, teacher. Okay. I don't need to drink soda because I am drinking coffee. Okay. You and need... you don't need to give a, a explanation. He doesn't need to go with me with me at the bus. Oh, uh -huh. to the bus. Okay, hold on. But, but the, the first thing that we need to switch is just explanation. 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 Ex explanation. Explanation. Okay. In the other, he doesn't need to go with me at the bus or to the bus. To the bus. Ah, on the bus. Okay, on the bus. And the other, she doesn't need, she doesn't need to, a boyfriend to be happy. Okay, she doesn't need any girlfriend to be happy. Okay, thank you. If somebody I want to talk about this, please. Come on, you can do it. Me? Okay, Edwin. We don't need to get up. We don't need to get up early. Oh, okay. We don't we don't need to get up early because we tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow is a holiday or a day off. Okay. Yes, and the next one is she doesn't need to eat pizza. Okay, he doesn't need to eat pizza because he already ate and you put what he ate. Maybe. Okay, thank you, somebody else. Can mask, can mask, can mask. Teacher, Hello? We, don't, we don't need to eat pizza every day. He doesn't need to drink juice in the morning. He doesn't? He doesn't need to drink juice in the morning. Oh, he doesn't need to drink juice in the morning. Why not? <laughs> Por qué no? Por qué no? Yeah, why not? Prefer coffee, teacher. <laughs> Seriously?
Okay, uh, let, let us switch a little bit. I remember I showed you this material, let me show you, and ask you to write down some information there. So let me show you again. I Yesterday I showed this material in front of the book. Okay, I, I remember I told you to write down something right here. Uh, write about something you had to or need to do these days. And I told you to write five. I don't know if you did it. Si lo hicieron o no lo hicieron. Be honest. No teacher. No teacher. We didn't have any time to do it. Okay, let us do it now, please. Five situation. I, I am going to give you five or six minutes to do it, please. When, what time, and where? Something you had to or need to do this day. Algo que necesite o que esté obligado a hacer estos días. Veamos. Piensa, piensa, piensa. Word teacher. I need to make a report, teacher. Okay. If you finish it, let me know, please.
teacher, la palabra entregar. All the pen. The liver could be. Entregar qué cosa? Mm. Mm, digamos, mi reporte. Ok. Deliver my report. Ok. Okay, uh, let us start now. Cost of the time, please. Who wants to do it? Can you get it, Michelle? Hola, hola. But first of all, uh, well, uh, try to think in your information. Let me check out the attendance place. America, are you there, America? America, America, America. No, Ana Iris. Ah, America is there, sorry. Ana Iris. Ana Iris, Ana Iris. Blanca Esperanza is there. Present. Okay, Cecilia Maribel. Present. She's there too. Uh, Edwin Alexis. Edwin Alexis. No. Eh, Franz. Edwin Alfredo. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Francisco. Francisco. Gabriela Yamilet. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Eh, 
Fisela. I am here too, teacher. Okay. Ingrid. Present. Okay. The Ivania. I'm here. Jonathan. Present teacher. Okay, Jonathan. Okay, Ernesto. Don Jose Ernesto. I saw, I saw him, but I can see it now. He estaba conectado. Don Jose Luis. Mr. Present. Okay, thank you. Eh, Cardina Vanessa. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Catherine. Catherine. Paola. Present teacher. Okay, Paola is here. Eh, Natalie. Present teacher. Okay. Mauricio Antonio. Present teacher. Roxana Álvarez. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Elizabeth. Present teacher. Sara. Present. Janet. Present teacher. Good night. Okay, good night. Yesenia. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Jessica Beatriz. Jessica is not here. Okay. So uh, we are going to continue talking about the review uh, next Monday. There you are going to have the opportunity to share your information. So right here is uh, raining a lot now. So let me see the time that we have, uh, two minutes left. Okay, uh, hold on a second, please. I don't know if somebody of you wants to share your information right now, at least one or two or three of you, and the rest can do it the next Monday. Okay, uh, Lisette. Teacher, el, el examen de, que va a mediados de, del curso lo tenemos que hacer ya o todavía no? El midterm exam? Uh -huh. Yes, you can do it. Uh, you have until Monday. Tiene hasta el lunes. Pero de preferencia puede hacerlo en los días que faltan. Porque corresponde, okay. corresponde justamente a la semana 2. Ok, thanks. Ok. Another question. Eh, déjeme ver si se encuentra no sé si le resolvieron el problema no está Paola, Paola, Paola I don't see it here ok, pero a estas alturas ya deberían todos a tener acceso a la plataforma si aún no les han resuelto eh, Déjenme los datos en privado, por favor, en el grupo. De ahí los comparto para la parte administrativa y buscar alternativas de poder a, ayudarles a resolver eh, todos esos problemas. Sí. 
Teacher, yo todavía no he recibido una orientación o una ayuda con respecto al acceso a la plataforma. Ah, ok. Sí, sí, sí. sí por eso le estaba consultando, porque yo envié su mensaje y en la parte administrativa no me ha dado una respuesta. Entonces, por eso eh, le estaba consultando a ver si a ellos le habían escrito, pero si no, eh, voy a... a reenviar la información el día de hoy para que se le pueda hacer la asistencia necesaria. ¿Ya? Ok, teacher, disculpe que no le había... Si sí, me preguntó antes, discúlpeme que no estuve al 100, ¿verdad? Pero, pero algo escuché este teacher. Eh, fíjese que yo tengo la duda, mañana no van a haber clases, ¿verdad? Así Entonces, es. mañana no van a trabajar los de inglés corporativo, me imagino. No. Entonces, yo voy a tener respuesta, pro, eh, teacher, hace el día lunes probablemente. Quiere decir que yo voy a llevar dos semanas de atraso en las actividades de la plataforma. Comprendo. Eh, let me see what we can do. Veamos qué podemos hacer para resolver eso. Ya usted en su correo buscó y no encontró absolutamente ningún dato, ¿cierto? Fíjese que me cayó un correo, pero nada más como volviendo a promocionar los cursos de inglés, como de suscríbete, eh, son, los horarios de inscripción son de tal a tal fecha y, y fecha de posible inicio es a tal fecha, los mismos que mandaban al principio, okay. cuando uno no era parte del programa. Uh -huh. Solo eso me cayó, ya no me cayó más. Wow, 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 wow. Ok, let me see. I'm going to resend the information. Voy a reenviar la información pidiendo el auxilio. Hola. Eh, para ingresar a la plataforma, uno tiene que ingresar con el correo que proporcionamos y con la contraseña 1, 2, 3, 4 y 5. Ah, ok. El 1, 5. Bueno. Ese es con el que nosotros debemos entrar. Ok, permítame, voy a compartir con ella el enlace y veamos qué le dice ahorita para que así avancemos en eso, porque... Eh, porque igual, para poder, registrar, para poder estar aquí en Zoom, nosotros nos registramos con el correo con el que íbamos a estar en la plataforma. Eso. Entonces, ese correo tiene que agregar, tiene que escribirlo en la plataforma y escribir 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 y ya le da ingreso. Ok. Bueno, pero para ello le vamos a enviar el enlace justamente ahorita para que ella haga las pruebas respectivas y ojalá se pueda resolver eh, su situación lo más pronto posible para que no haya eh, acumulación de actividades. Sorry, teacher. Can I leave? Hola. Eh, los demás ya podemos salir, teacher. Yes, I'm sorry. Uh, yes, Oscar, it is time. Uh, if you want, uh, Paola, you can stay at the end. The rest can, can uh, go out of the platform. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, okay, and, and I hope to see you next Monday. Take Monday. care and enjoy Thank your good night. Okay. Good night, night teacher. Good night. Good night, good night, good night teacher. Good night. night. Okay, bye-bye. Ok, Paola, no se me vaya, por favor. Ok, teacher. Fíjese, teacher, que escuché lo que dijo la compañera y yo ya tengo acceso a la plataforma con usuario, ¿verdad? Y contraseña. Sí, sí. Cuando yo abro el enlace que me enviaron, me, me da acceso. Lo que me dice es que para estar en el grupo tengo que ser invitada. Eh, y es ahí, después de ahí es que no me deja, no me deja entrar. Es bastante raro, ¿no? Sí, porque el, el, el curso primero, todo muy bien. Ahí en el curso primero fue que creamos el usuario y la contraseña. Sí, Entonces, y, y, ¿y se recuerda el proceso que hizo? Sí, 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 hasta nos reunieron un sábado antes de que iniciara, nos reunieron y nos explicaron, ¿verdad? Entonces lo mismo hice ahora. Eh, 
entramos a la, a, la, a la plataforma con el correo, la contraseña que le cambiamos porque nos, nos enseñaron a cambiar la contraseña, la personal. Y, este, y ya me, me, me permitía estar en el curso. Pero ahora solo me dice buscar cursos y me dice que del, en el que yo tengo que estar, tengo que estar por invitación. No puedo yo inscribirme automáticamente, ah, okay. sino que tiene que ser por invitación. Uh -huh. Sí, ahí le he enviado a WhatsApp el, el, el enlace. Trate de, de, de abrirlo para ver si le dan acceso. Ok, ahorita. Ah, no, no me ha caído. Ah, sí, en el grupo lo mandó, ¿verdad? Sí, ahí está en WhatsApp. Sí, ahí está. Bye, ahorita. Ajá, porque yo le escribí a la señorita Giselle, porque ella es la que me mandó la información, pero, pero no, no me respondió. Vaya, acá ya ingresé en el, en el, en el enlace. Y, ¿Será, y... ¿Será posible? Ok, permítame un segundo. Uh -huh. ¿Será posible que usted pueda eh, compartirme su pantalla para poder ver exactamente qué es lo que sucede? Bueno. Permítame, voy a intentarlo porque estoy en el teléfono. Ah, voy a okay. Déjeme ver, tal vez. Me dice si le aparece. No, todavía. Ahora. No, solo aparece su escritorio del, del teléfono, pero no, no aparece eh, lo que necesitamos ver. Vaya, ahorita ya está cargando. Ahí, sí, es que mi teléfono es un poco lento. Uh -huh. Vaya, ahorita sí está cargando, ¿verdad? Por ahí va. ¿Le aparece? Porque okay, ese es el principiante 1. De... Módulo 1, correcto. Sí, despleguese por favor para poder buscar el número 2. No, no le aparece. Dele donde no. dice ver. Mire, pues. No, esos son cursos archivados. Uh -huh. Y me voy acá, me voy a cursos o pan, porque ya está dentro de mi cuenta, porque como aquí en mi teléfono ya se abre automático, ¿verdad? Ya está guardado el usuario y la contraseña, ya estoy en, 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 mi, en mi usuario. Sí, pero ahorita no, no, no veo que le salga el módulo 2 con la fecha que debe de ser. Ajá, es que no, no me sale. No, 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 no estoy inscrita en ese módulo 2. Este es el archivado, es el anterior. Aquí sí, era donde yo hacía las tareas sí. pasadas. Ajá. Sí, el entonces, el, el, ajá, entonces el curso nuevo no me aparece. Dele donde dice cursos, arriba. Ahí. Ahí. Creo que aquí me aparecen todos los cursos que tiene Isafor. Mire. Sí, veamos algo. Dele, dele, baje, baje. Ok, en la parte donde está la barra de búsqueda, escriba con mayúscula los siguientes iniciales, por favor. 
Me digo, bonito. Ok, G6C. G6C. G6. C. Mayúscula, ¿verdad? C de casa, sí, todo en mayúscula. Ok, guión. Uh -huh. Guión. P, un número dos. Otro guión. Cero seis. Guión. Veinte veintitrés. Dele buscar. Dele. Acá está. está. Principiante dos. Está. Principiante dos. Pero me aparecen varios. Todos con inglés principiante dos. No, pero veamos los primeros para ver la fecha. El primerito. Dice, ah, Star 23 de julio del 2019. Ufa. Es, ok, entonces desplaces y quizás al, al último en la parte de abajo. Eh, nosotros empezamos. Espérenme. Pídele que ahorita va por el año 22 de hoy. Solo ese me aparece. No me aparece ninguno del 2023. Solo los archivados. Solo archivados. Eh, deje de compartir, le voy a mostrar algo. Ok. Así rapidito se lo muestro. Sí, solo quiero volver a entrar a la aplicación. Aquí está. Ok, perfecto. Uh... Déjenme buscar el correo que me enviaron. Ok, en su bandeja de entrada hay un correo que dice online. Aquí en esta parte dice online. Entonces, este es el que debe buscar, ya sea en la, su bandeja de recibidos o en la parte donde dice más si es Gmail, se va donde dice spam. Puede ser que esté ahí. Recuerde, dice online. Justamente si lo logra encontrar, aparecerá algo así que dice You have been enrolled en in inglés princip a principiante módulo 2. Y luego en la parte azul donde dice Access the course material now. Desde darle clic ahí le va a dar acceso a, a, a todo lo que estamos buscando. Ok, voy a, voy a buscarlo ahorita en mi correo. En el buscador tiene que ponerle eh, algo que dice online para ver si, si, si le enviaron o no le enviaron. De acuerdo. Sí, teacher, ahorita estoy buscando. Ah, fíjese, teacher, que 
Vaya, tengo uno que lo recibí el 3 de el 8 de junio. Permítame, voy a buscar uno más cercano. Vaya, el 3 de julio es el que me cayó esta semana que le digo que solamente me Ah, permítame. Ah, y me cayó otro, pero es, fue solamente con la ficha de inscripción. La que, el formulario que llenamos al principio para, para poder inscribirnos. Solo ese aparece. Eh, el último correo que me cayó de online fue hace tres días, eh, pero fue lo que le digo que me cae de reserva tu, no, tu cupo de nuevo ingreso, le solicitamos que eh, sí, complete el formulario para poder tiene inscribir. Tiene que ser antes de ese, tiene que ser antes de ese y generalmente en el, en el tema de él dice online. Bueno, denle una buscada. Yo voy a reenviar su información. Eh, vamos a buscar la manera de poderle ayudar. Claro, mañana va a estar cerrada la casa. Eh, yo voy a tratar la forma. Si encuentro la manera, yo le, le mando un mensajito. Sí, teacher. Eh, sí, yo le voy a agradecer. Eh, de todo caso, mire, cuando se logre solventar esta parte, yo me comprometo a hacer todas las actividades que tenga pendientes. Tal vez ahí me echa la ayudadita para que vaya registrando mis notas después, ¿verdad? porque no me vaya a quedar yo sin notas. Ok, perfecto. Gracias, teacher. Ok, que tenga feliz noche. excelente. Cuídese. Bye, bye. Bye, teacher. Muchas gracias. Bye, ok.